Oh man, thank you. Thank you. So here we go. Ogawa immediately backing up. There it is, pins out. And then we saw uh, Washige tried to snipe Eddie with the pin, was just a little bit short, but did get the hit on him. So he's, he's out of commission right now, but there he is. Little Eddie's back. Oh, sandwich. And we were seeing that all day yesterday. Ogawa breaks the law to put Zato underground, and then basically plays Eddie as his character and pokes. That is some scary stuff, man. Oh! Bad Moon trades. Yeah, Washige looking for that knockdown. Good pressure block. started. Fades the burst. And this is a bad spot for Here Ogawa. Here we go. Oh, man, blocks the overhead. Nice. Oh! Does not take that if you don't have to. All right, Ogawa fighting his way out of the corner. Eddie just died, but he's still fighting it out. Trying to snipe him with two eggs. Ogawa trying to waste a little time. Eddie is back available. And there's oh. the big Nibiru summon to the puddle. Wushige trying to get around Eddie. Nice YRC to get the 6P timing. Good grab. All right, what's we got here? Sets up the disc, but not close enough to the corner. Oh man, he just went in a little too fast. He did not cover himself. So smart by Zato. That's one of the new features to Zato in Exert. You can actually summon Eddie to the Under puddles the puddle, that right? are left over by the drills now. Right, you have to pay attention to that. All right, Ogawa actually let Eddie run out, but he oh, does have where she get cornered. Nice her air grab. Basketball. Yeah, knew, knew that where she was trying to escape the corner. But again, Wushige on the offensive. Ogawa's still so far from first. All right, it might have been a little obvious with that, but still got the combo. And I was just going to say, Zato's dead angle is not the best in the game. It's a little slow, so his defensive options are not the best. But he's fighting. He's out of the corner. He could not. Oh, my God, again with the sandwiches. And Ogawa, I mean, we've just been seeing this over and over. He summons Eddie, and then he breaks the law, go, goes underground, and then he pokes with the punch move with Eddie, and at the same time, YRCs to come out of the break the law. So if the punch move from Eddie hits you, he can react during the time freeze and easily get a combo because he comes out of the ground from the YRC. Right, then you're in the world pain. Such, a, such an interesting tactic, such a difficult tactic to deal with. So Gawa looking over a few notes here. Because you're never going to face Little Eddie. You're always going to face Little Gawa. So it's, right, yeah. if, you, if you land in between them, you can't even hit Eddie because he's behind you. Right, wow, that is ridiculous. So tricky. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. All right, Ogawa starting off strong, pushing Mushiga into the corner, but again, Milia's air mobility is not going to keep her there for very long. But right now, she's in a sandwich. Oh my god. Well, Shige trying to figure out what to do here, could not find any options, pretty much lost all of his life. Ogawa trying to keep up that momentum. Oh, oh what a big grab, but the Secret Garden stops the knockdown. Oh, wow, here it comes. He's got a chance here. Again, sets up the disc, but too far from the corner to really make use of it. All right, Arthur oh, the pressure raw on. six. Hey. Yeah, big counter hit. Oh, and gets him with the hair car. And so Washige bringing it back. Woo -hoo -hoo. Interesting to note, Ogawa did use his burst there, but he bursted a little bit later in the combo because he got his, his, he got his burst baited last game, so was a little more patient with his burst this time, so he's going to have it back quicker now because it wasn't baited. All right, not well, she get back in there. He's going to have to... Wow, Ogawa kind of running away from now. Big 2H anti here gets him the combo, takes him to the corner, but messes up the disc, gets 5H instead. Trying to get that positioning down right now. And nice, Washige predicted the, the, the puddle summon and actually killed Eddie. And a real bad burst here, completely whiffed. Look right, out for the blocks. dead angle. Ooh, there yep. you go. Wow, kills Eddie again. Washige's doing everything oh, right right man, now. Can't swing at that, man. And this is going to get him real low. No burst, no dead angle. He's got to block this, this out. Washige. And he Ushige. gets caught low. Ushige bringing it back. One game apiece. Just hyper aggressive. Ogawa swinging at things that he shouldn't. That was all Ushige. Yeah, I have to attribute that, uh, attribute that win to Ushige making sure to keep Eddie out of the fight. Killed Eddie multiple times immediately when he was summoned, and he just basically was not a factor at all in that second round. Mm -hmm. All right, so a close match here going into game three. All right, now comes the last adjustment. <laughs> and again, that's what I'm talking about, predicting the summons and taking them out immediately. Washige with such a big advantage here. Ogawa choosing not to burst, and there's the OTG burst. Gets the grab, here comes the corner presser. Oh, and he catches him with the low, such a tricky mix-up. That buzzsaw is block stun for days. Ogawa can do one. Oh! Big Nobiru. 
What a read. And just taking chunks out of Milia's life bar. Really no reason not to do it, but that's going to hurt. All right, Ogawa unsummoning, resummoning. He's trying to just work where she gets towards the corner. Trying to make multiple. She can make a mistake, and there it is. Oh, and Eddie actually ran out naturally, so Ogawa's not going to have that available for a little while. And there's an OTG burst from Washige. A little Eddie's back, pulls him out immediately. Another sandwich. So smart. Saw Washige jump up really high, knew the trajectory of the pin. Ogawa was one step ahead, broke the law to avoid the pin, and Washige came right down into Eddie pressure. And he hasn't seen that setup yet. At least he's not sure how to handle it. All right, here comes Washige with her damage. But he did hit Zato, not Eddie, so if Ogawa can get out of this pressure, he will have Eddie available, and he does, flies out of the corner. And there's the oh, puddle summon, but Ushige just jumps right over it. And Ogawa trying so hard to prevent Ushige from jumping out of the corner. Oh, dives right into the middle And again, the break the law with the Eddie pun. Wow, he actually, he actually blocked the first hit too and didn't even hit the YRC it. Oh, oh big counter hit, that launch. What a launches. gamble! The dead angle doesn't bait it. Gets caught low again. Has to burst immediately. Full meter though. Full meter. He's gonna have to do. So oh, he can't. No, nope, no burst. So no burst. smart. Oh my God. Smart. Genius. So smart. He couldn't burst because of the super. But will she get thinks it's over? Down, he down, 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 down. What and the bell doesn't what care. Is he still got sixty five percent. Oh my God. Will she get down? Will she get down like this? What are you standing, what are you standing up, up for? Why? Why? Oh my God. Will she get thought it was over and stood up and Ogawa gave him no remorse. That is exactly what happens. Don't have a celebration with pop off. Oh pop -off. my God. Take it in, flex on him. Unbelievable. Washige is going to be dreaming about that tonight. Oh my God. Boy, did you think these were button checks? Wow. You know, when he stood up, I thought, <coughs> I thought, all right, he's just real quick going to stand up and sit back down. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, Unbelievable. And Ogawa <laughs> recognized it immediately. Went up with a complete unscaled combo, did 60% right off the bat, and then hit him with the mix-up into the instant dizzy. Oh, dude. Wow. His back is broken. Wow. That, that round was over before Washigi even got back into the chair. Unbelievable.